Rise and shine, family. All right, so have any of you guys while in church ever done or said ridiculous things? I mean, that you can think on right now and just can recall, you know, just saying and doing ridiculous things. How many of you guys ever stomped on the devil? Like literally stomped on the devil, as in you believe that by jumping up in the air and planting your feet on the ground with force would somehow upset or hurt Satan himself. How many of y'all did it? Don't lie. Don't lie. If you did it, please comment that you did it in the comment section. Don't be embarrassed. I did it too. And a lot of members of churches, a lot of people who went to churches, subscribed to religion, did it too. Or they at least saw someone else doing it. But why do we do it? Why do we believe that we can jump up and down on the ground and somehow it would affect a being who's living in hell? How could we? Listen, man. This is why I try to talk to you guys about religion. It makes you escape your actual mind and you don't think with your mind. You just become a follower and do what you see everybody else doing. Where's the power in that? Listen, churches could be teaching us economics. Now, we all talk about school and things that school do not teach our children, right? They just teach your child that the person in the classroom is the smartest person. The teacher in the classroom is the smartest person because if you disagree with anything she says, you're going to the office, right? They know they don't have all the answers. And this is why, uh, you know, science books and history books and things like that are being updated. We know that we don't know it all. So why do we treat our children like this, right? If you get this answer right, you're smart. But what if you're wrong when you gave them the answer? Them having the answer right and it's wrong, what does that make them now, right? And so this stuff translates over into the church. Neither do they really do anything to help us in this real matrix. They don't teach us economics. This is why uh, people who identify as black on a large scale know nothing about group economics and how to actually build a nation, right? They, don't, they know nothing about it because they don't teach us. We just went to school, got out. We went to Sunday school, got out. We went to preaching, got out. We just were told not to talk during church, respect the pastor, whatever. But they didn't really give us anything tangible that we could take with us and learn in life. Listen, I understand churches that you're religious. I understand that the book is your primary go-to book. But man, maybe try something practical. When you have your church members, some of them are, are adults jumping on the floor, trying to hurt and upset the devil. You have to understand what that does, man. It actually makes the children who see this believe that it's power in this stuff. Because, see, that's what got me when I would see adults run around the church and do things that really were silly. I thought it was powerful. See, we thought that it takes faith to do that. You got to have strong faith to be willing to run around the church and do something crazy. But how do you have strong faith. What does that even mean? Faith is the evidence of things hoped for or the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. How can that be strong? Especially when all you have to have is faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed and you can move a mountain. So who says that you need strong faith if you can move a mountain with a mustard sized grain of faith, right? Listen, guys, Christianity, Islam, I'll insert whatever religion that you know of or believe in. They can make you do some completely irrational things. Can religion be good for you? Yes, religion can make people who otherwise uh, wouldn't restrain themselves from committing certain crimes not commit certain crimes. But let's be honest. Preachers rape, rape, rape children, right? So we know that religion is not, not something that's going to keep you from committing crimes either. So my whole thing is we have to understand that these are men and women who run these churches. Don't don't believe that because they they believe in a book or read a book that they're going to act a certain way. These people will have you jumping up and down, make, having you thinking that you're doing something. Think about this, y'all. We have to grow up. We have to learn. You got preachers now coming in off scaffolds, trying to fly into the building, anything to, to entertain their crowd. You see what I'm saying? To entertain their audience. When are we going to do something practical? Man, you guys have your churches filled up. Every single week, sometimes more, more than once a week. And you're not doing anything practical to make this world a better place. We got to grow up. We got to do better and stop dancing on the devil. It doesn't work. Religion can be a painkiller, but man, it can also be a poison, a horrible drug that can keep a person held back, mentally disabled and mentally crippled. Listen, be evolution, be the change that you want to see. And no candle loses its flame from lighting another. So get the lighting family. Peace.